Hermann Oberth, a great talent born in 1894, was known as the pioneer of European rocketry and space exploration by our country's space agency. In 1923, he first proposed the idea of using rockets to escape the Earth's gravity, as well as some theoretical knowledge. He also proposed the idea of building a space station, initially for scientific research, but later suggested military applications. This idea aroused great interest from the German authorities, and the military application was the sun gun, also referred to as a space mirror in some articles. People often compare the sun gun to the death star in science fiction movies. They are both massive man-made objects in space, and both have destructive capabilities. Although the sun gun cannot instantly destroy a planet, it could theoretically cause serious damage to a city in a short period of time. In fact, the principle of the sun gun is very simple, to use sunlight as a weapon. A huge concave mirror is built in space, and during combat, the sunlight is reflected onto the target by adjusting the posture. It is mainly aimed at large targets such as cities and industrial areas. The concentrated heat can cause fires, raise water temperatures, and make it difficult for uncovered animals and plants to survive. The sun gun sounds ideal, but in reality, its deployment would be very difficult. Hermann Oberth hoped to develop a space rocket based on the V-2 ballistic missile that Germany was developing at the time. By continuously launching into space, all the equipment needed for the space station would be sent up and assembled. The concave mirror is one of the components of the space station. According to German scientists' calculations, this huge concave mirror will have an area of approximately 3 square kilometers and will be located 8,200 kilometers from the ground. It is made up of many frames and covered with sodium as the reflecting material. After assembly, rocket engines are installed for posture adjustment to obtain sunlight and align the target. Astronauts are stationed on the space station, and supplies are regularly replenished from the ground via space rockets. Astronauts receive ground information through wireless radio equipment. Solar steam generators are used on the space station, and the steam drives turbines to power generators. Although slightly more complex, at that time solar panels were not yet mature, so this was a necessary step. Astronauts wear magnetic shoes in their daily life to avoid floating around the space station. Additionally, a large number of pumpkins are also grown inside the space station to produce oxygen for the astronauts to breathe, although this is likely only one of the methods for oxygen supply on the space station. The sun gun was never meant to be completed, as it far exceeded the technological level of the time. Even today, it would be very difficult to achieve, possibly only under unlimited cost. However, at the time, Germany had not even developed space rockets, let alone manned spaceflight or the construction of a space station. German scientists also admitted that this was a daunting plan, and after World War II, some German scientists told the United States that the project was expected to be completed in 50 to 100 years. If the sun gun were to be realized, it would be a strategic weapon, potentially more threatening than nuclear weapons and missiles to some extent, and without producing nuclear radiation. With orbital maneuvering technology, it could attack any area of the Earth at will and be reusable.